In a country where we have plenty, we do still have neighbors without addresses. And happening in our community, one local organization is asking you to team up or see you at homes one winter night. We have Rob Dahlhaus, executive director of See You at Home, joining me today. And Rob, this has been going on for how many years now? This is year number nine, if you wow. can believe it. Yep. And your organization, for those who don't know, who haven't experienced See You at Home, does what? So See You at Home, we're a local 501c3 not-for-profit homelessness ministry focused on serving the most vulnerable homeless, uh, our friends without an address here in our community. We do that in a bunch of different ways through transitional housing, 24-hour street outreach, a work program, a men's emergency shelter, and the money raised through One Winter Night helps us sustain what we do throughout the year in serving our friends on the street. Now, for any nonprofit, it's important, one, to be able to raise some money, mm -hmm. obviously, sure. but two, I think some of the hard part is getting people to understand what those you are serving are dealing with, which is then why the money is so important. Absolutely. And this event seems to do both. So tell us about One Winter Night and why there's a giant cardboard box Absolutely. over your right Absolutely. I've got my friend right here <laughs> behind my shoulder. So One Winter Night is a homeless simulation. So you as a participant, you get to experience what it would be like uh, to be on the streets of Champaign-Urbana on February 7th is our event this year. And you spend 12 hours outside. Uh, we provide you with a cardboard box. Uh, uh, to get that experience, to get what it would feel like um, to be on the streets of Champaign. And I have had folks tell me that it is a life-changing experience. It is one that you, you know, you don't understand how lonely our friends feel until you're out there at 2 in the morning. Even though you're surrounded by hundreds of people, um, you just have that very quiet, very lonely feeling. So I encourage anybody, if it's something you've been thinking about, Come check it out, get signed up, volunteer, be a participant. Uh, it's a great opportunity. And these 12 hours are overnight, so it's going to get cold and it's going to get dark and it's going to get quiet. Uh, where does the money part of this come in? I think each person's supposed to raise a certain amount of money, right? Right. We ask each of our participants to try to raise $1,000. Uh, our goal this year is to try to raise $350,000, which equates to two-thirds of our annual budget, okay. a budget that's 100% supported by the community. So we don't have any state or federal dollars as part of our budget. helps us keep our services individualized uh, and also share the faith aspect of what we do. How far along are you in that $350,000? Great question. So we're at 44%. I just check before coming on okay. uh, we just passed over hundred and fifty five thousand dollars the event is uh, 19 days away mm -hmm. and we keep the books open for two weeks after the event for those last minute uh, fundraising dollars coming in okay so you're looking for people who can uh, sleep outside mm -hmm. in one of the boxes and raise a thousand dollars what other types of people if they can't do that sure. what other things do you need sure so if folks aren't able to do that physically we have plenty of volunteer opportunities uh, both inside and outside so maybe you're good at setting stuff up so we've got outdoor setup we've got indoor setup we've got a hospitality area for our box dwellers and our volunteers um, we have uh, security uh, we have folks counting money. We have all sorts of ways for you to get involved, both inside. If you're sitting there thinking, there is no way, <laughs> no way I'm going to open outside, well, we've got a way uh, for you to get involved as well. Now, if someone's just wanting to donate sure. rather than volunteer, obviously they could find somebody who's going to be a box dweller for the night and mm -hmm. donate to their cause. Are there other ways to um, get that money into the right hands? Yes. A couple other ways to do that. You can visit our website, www.cuathome.us. You can donate right there. Also, obviously, cash and check mm -hmm. are acceptable. You can uh, mail those to P.O. Box 8816, Champaign, Illinois, 61826. In February 7th. February 7th, you got it. What time does it start? It starts about 6 p.m. Uh -huh. We will have specialized speaker presentations and some musical performances oh, wow. this year starting at 5.30, including uh, one of our friends on the street is a phenomenal guitar player. He's going to be there that night wow, playing. So cool. we've, we've really tried to integrate our friends on the street into the volunteering and even uh, the box dwelling part of it uh, to really get that full community uh, impact. Well, best of luck reaching that 350000 and uh, best of luck staying warm during those 12 hours. Thank too. you very much. We'll get you all the details on One Winter Nights on our Facebook page. Just check out CI Living there.